minus 30 seconds. Mark. 30 seconds to launch. At T0, the two uh, main engines uh, will ignite uh, after about one and a half seconds to conduct health checks. Uh, and Terry's will lift off. Point of reference, the space station is 262 miles up north of the Michigan Peninsula at the time of launch. Four, three. Go in, Terry's. One. Yeah, ignition. Engine start. Lift off of the Antares A1 test mission from the Mars at Zero A at the Wild Display facility. If you see nominal, attitude nominal. Power is nominal. Engines at 108% and nominal. Attitude nominal. Core pressures are nominal. Altitude 2,000 feet. Plus 30 seconds, TPC nominal. Engines at 104 and nominal. Attitude nominal. Avionics power is nominal. Attitude nominal. Core pressure is nominal. TPC is nominal. Altitude 10,000 feet. Engines are nominal. E plus 60 seconds. Power is nominal, EBC is nominal, core pressure is nominal, altitude 20,000 feet, velocity 900 feet per second, EBC is nominal, BNO3 on, core pressure is nominal, vehicle passing through max Q, attitude nominal. Plus 90 seconds, power is nominal. Engines remain nominal. Altitude 50,000 feet, velocity 1,600 feet per second. EVC is nominal. Attitude nominal. BNG free on core pressures remain nominal. Beautiful view. Engines at 100% and nominal. Avionics power is nominal. E plus two minutes. EVC is nominal. Attitude is nominal. Core pressure is nominal. Altitude 100,000 feet. Engines remain nominal. Attitude nominal. Power is nominal. Approaching MECO. Core pressure is nominal. Kyle, we're coming up on main engine cutoff. Attitude nominal. That should come about three minutes, 50 seconds or so into flight. TVCs are nominal. Altitude 100. Stayed one, throttle down. Two minutes to Miko. Core pressure is nominal. Attitude nominal. Power is nominal. TVCs are nominal. Engines are nominal. BNO4, 5, and 6 are on. Core pressures remain nominal. Attitude nominal. EVC nominal. Standing by for engine nominal. throttle down. Altitude 250,000 feet. Core pressure is nominal. Engines remain at 100% and nominal. T plus, 3 minutes, 30 seconds. Throttle down has begun. Traveling about 7,200 miles per hour now. EVC is skewing out in preparation for the MECO event. Standing by for stage one MECO and separation. MECO. ESS is disabled. We have stage one separation. Lower ACS is enabled. Closed loop guidance is enabled. Four minutes, 20 seconds uh, into the flight. 
I'll, as you hear, going very smoothly. 327 second sequence of time. Kyle, the next mark event will be fairing separation. It's is is now in a coast phase until proper conditions for fairing separation and stage two ignition are achieved. Power is nominal. Attitude nominal. Power nominal. That's a view inside the uh, fairing, right? Yeah. That's correct. View looking forward Power now. Power is nominal. Awaiting fairing separation in preparation for interstage separation and then stage two ignition. All systems remain nominal at this time. Avionics power is nominal. Fairing separation. Interstage separation. Attitude nominal. Standing by for Stage two ignition. Stage two ignition. Attitude nominal. Stage two ignition comes at an altitude of 117 miles. Power is nominal. Traveling 9,400 miles per hour. PVC nominal. Attitude remains nominal. So, Kyle, now we see an animated view of the vehicle, the second stage, power nominal. as reported, burning nominally. Attitude nominal. And um, it looks like stage two burns for about two and a half Avionics minutes. That's correct. BBC nominal. Attitude nominal. Power is nominal. BBC remains nominal. Attitude nominal. Well, this is an animated sequence. We are receiving direct uh, telemetry um, from the vehicle that corresponds to this animation. Attitude nominal and TVC steering is nominal. Avionics power is nominal. Attitude nominal, still good, strong telemetry here in the RCC. Motor pressures look nominal. We have about one minute remaining before Attitude stage nominal. two uh, tail off begins and uh, the stage two Attitude coast nominal. phase begins uh, just a little bit after eight minutes into the flight. We're currently at seven minutes, 10 seconds. Attitude is nominal. Kyle, there you see a great shot of the second stage uh, powered flight. Or is nominal. Attitude nominal. Power is nominal. EBC nominal, attitude nominal. And we're standing by for stage two tail off. 20 seconds till burnout, attitude is nominal. Motor pressures look good. EBC performance is nominal. Speed is now 16,600 miles per hour. Attitude nominal. T plus, eight minutes. Power is nominal. Attitude nominal. ABC is nominal. H2 tail off. H2 burnout, FTS disabled. And Terry's performance is nominal. First P pod separation. And Terry's is in orbit. Attitude nominal. And Terry's will uh, coast for roughly 100 seconds to allow residual thrust tail off prior to the test mission payload separation. Power is nominal. Attitude remains nominal. So, Kyle, now we're in an unpowered coast until we come up to the Second P5 separation. Mass simulator separation, as you hear nominal. being called. We're also deploying the secondary payloads that we discussed P5 earlier. Nine minutes. And everything's going very smoothly. Uh, that One Cygnus or the uh, Mass simulator separation comes about 10 minutes, just about one minute from now. Attitude remains nominal, power remains nominal. 
All systems uh, for antennas remain nominal as we await payload separation. Plus nine minutes, 30 seconds. 30 seconds to payload separation. That mass uh, simulator separation is uh, going to occur at an altitude of 158 statute miles, about 255 uh, kilometers. Attitude nominal. About uh, 15 seconds from separation. Nominal. Attitude nominal. Plus 10 minutes. Payload separation. Dial, as you can see on the animation, <laughs> the payload has separated successfully. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful mission, and it's uh, uh, got just a few more mission minutes to go. The attitude is nominal. Antares has delivered the A-1 test mission payload into orbit. You see uh, congratulations all around in the range operations center there. And as you mentioned, uh, the mission itself has about eight more missions as we execute a collision avoidance maneuver on the upper stage with the attitude control system. And you'll see the